Hi, I'm Parker Allen. It's Today in Lighting.com, Tuesday, 14 October. We are sponsored by Kasambi, the lighting OS that sets the standard for wireless control. If you enjoy Today in Lighting, please hit the like button. Here are the stories making news. It was a busy weekend in our industry as designers gathered in Tucson for Enlighten America's 2025. IELD inducted five new fellows, Teal Brogdon, Jill Cody, Aram Evan, Ron Kurtz, and Monica Luz Lobo. These honorees were recognized for decades of mentorship, leadership, and shaping the global lighting design community. You can learn more on designinglighting.com. The LIRC meeting at EA25 brought together manufacturers, designers, and stakeholders to discuss welcoming new members, sustainable lighting maintenance, and remote work challenges. Key themes included trust, transparency, and fostering innovation across the lighting community. Randy Reed has a full breakdown of everything that took place at designinglighting.com. And no conference is complete these days without a discussion of artificial intelligence. Moderator Ahmad Hassan and panelists Matt Allman, Katrina Fairs, and Brandon Thrasher led an exploration of AI's role in lighting design, emphasizing it as a tool to aid, not replace, designers. Key takeaways, protect data, preserve human creativity, guide new designers, and use AI ethically and sustainably. You can read more on designinglighting.com. LDPI Inc. is hiring a product and project manager to lead new industrial lighting products, oversee cross-functional projects, and drive innovation from concept to launch. The role requires five plus years of experience, technical acumen, and strong collaborative skills. Learn more and apply on edisonreport.com. And the market bounced back yesterday. The Dow was up 588 and the NASDAQ was up 490. Acuity Brands was up $12.18. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great day and pray for peace.